came in um, February time, three weeks later, four weeks later, COVID hits and all hell breaks loose. Um, and taking an organization through, wow, well, what a, a complex time, but also a, a really positive time. We've, we've achieved so much in that 18 month period um, with everything else going on around it. So, you know, the guy that's delivering the services, doing that extraordinary work right the way through to us sorting out and growing the organization in the same breath. I think we've probably done, feels like four or five years work in 18 months. When I first came on, I was coming in for six months and I was coming in to help reset the strategy and provide a framework for the new CEO coming in. Um, obviously, that was never going to happen because of the, the COVID kicking off. So working with the trustees and setting the new strategic intent of the organization um, and then putting that into practice has shown that actually Gordon Moody is a sleeping giant. And, you know, not to speak ill of the predecessors because they've done some phenomenal work. Um, actually, what they've done is given me a great foundation to to do what I'm doing. It just so happens that I'm the custodian just during this period. We really align ourselves as being the hidden organization within the hidden addiction. And one of the key challenges that I've set myself and the team is to take us out of being that hidden organization within that hidden addiction. So one, we've got to really drive demand by making people sure people know about us, but also working with the rest of the sector to make sure that people know that gambling has an addiction and it is a severe addiction. So, you know, there's, there's some real challenges for us as an organization, but also as for the sector as a whole. What's on the horizon? Um, more spaces to treat more people, uh, more agility in the organization to treat people quicker. And if I'm really honest, what I really want to be seeing is more support and more framework around those people that are going through recovery and post recovery so that they know they can come back to us no matter what. Um, if they are about to relapse or if they relapse and we're not going to judge them that we're going to welcome them with open arms and support them because you know however many hundreds of thousands or well, hundreds of people that have been through Gordon Moody some of them will have relapsed and we heard a story before about a guy that left mid-treatment and unfortunately uh, held up a, a bookies uh, and did an armed robbery on them if he was to come back to us tomorrow and say I need help can I come and come and spend time with you the answer to that would be yes. So we've really shifted the position of the organization of being one which can't cope to one which will cope.